Okay, hello and welcome my friend. And then I am planning to tell you that how works this car heating system because this is really interesting system and now I have in here really really high quality example and this is Toyota Camry cars heating system and I have I have now take out all of these parts and please look in there there is this white complex this is this Toyota's heating system and next I am planning to tell you all of these parts and components what there are but I start this my job in this basic element what is this heating systems fan and there is this fan it is in my hand and this fan works so that when we have in that our car dashboard there is this speed control and there is knob now this my knob is uh, not in here, but when we change the speeds in here, low to high, high speed, then this fan in here, in low speed, is it speeds like that way, very slow. And then in high speed, it is so fast that we can see those plates. And this works by electric, and in that area, we insert those electric connectors. And this part belongs in when we, I have this my heater unit in there, it belongs in that area in here, directly in this down area in this way. This is this fa fan blower's position, and then I insert that little bit better you. Okay, now it's good. And then there is second important thing, it is this uh, fan power unit what has this this air intake now this part drops away because I have I have take those bolts away and there is now situation that this part where goes this power this fan this fan belongs in in here nicely in that way and then when we are using this our car this fan in here it is like low or high speed position in here then this fan is moving and in that area in here air is going in this is like outside those hole what is in this car bonnet area and fresh air goes in directly in here and then if we have this Toyota car where we can close and off this cabin area against pollution and especially diesel cars and trucks. When we move that switch, there is cable in here. That cable what goes in this slot in that way. And then when I move that switch, there this part. Now, now this is this part in here moves in that way, and it opens. Now I take that away. It opens this cabin area thing or close it. Here is this switch. Okay, that way. Now, now it takes air in here outside, and then when we move that our cabin area in that position now it close that coming air tunnel and now it takes air only in this inside area and then we have like in in better uh, better air if we have especially some very big diesel engine in just outside of be, be just front of our car okay but normally when there is no any diesel cars in distance 100 or 200 yards then we can open these flaps and fresh air goes in here and then when we have this plower it it takes in here it it makes big air movement in here and in that area air comes out in this hole look this hole and where then this this part belongs. 
there is this our big console in here and there is that kind of hole and this part belongs in here and air goes in inner in here in I, I will install that in position okay now now it's in this position and then when it is in this position air goes air goes directly better you air goes directly in that hole what we have in here in that hole air goes in there nicely and now I take this outer element away and air goes in really fast in that area in the here this is first first this this area where air goes and in normally in that area we have this I rotate that we have air condition unit in that position in that area this is place for air condition and it cools down this our incoming air incoming air what goes in that hole in here there is big open area or actually it is not open because air goes in directly in here down and then it goes through that panel what I am now moving that panel in here let's go to look air goes in directly in here and now air is in inner of this our big heating and cooling uh, this uh, machine and now normally this our heating system it is in this kind of position in here and there is normally in that area we have gear stick and, it, and this switches the settings are in here in that and then when we are pla then when we like to like like move this air movement in air we rotate there is now now I can there's normally switch but in that way when we move that like in here then air start to this is like electric electric heater it sends message directly in here there's electric motor what moves these that kind of flaps look there is that kind of flap open and close open and close that flap and then this air like if I like to like air in this window these flaps opens in here and then then air now now they are difficult to move because there is this electric uh, this step motor in here but the idea is that these flaps opens and then air goes directly to window there's many many pipes okay good and then if I like like that that this air air goes also in like my foot in here that position this in here foot I switch that my switch in that position and then this electric signal sends in this my big heating unit and in that hole in here in this lower area in here there are two holes it sends air in ground and also in these holes in here in that area air goes to my feet and foot and in other side this is like passenger side front area and air comes in here okay and then how how then happens this if I like to heat up this my air there is really interesting thing. it is like in just in here this part this area there is this core heater in that area okay a little bit better you this area there's idea that firstly when engine is running these pipes they moves this coolant in this core heater and warm and hot coolant goes in here and then it goes out in that road and in this like this Toyota car 
there is even two those those uh, heat controls. First in engine area, there is first this switch that is in that position, and this cable in here, this cable goes directly in this my heater unit in here. Now this another part is away in here, but in when we rotate that heater warm switch, then this cable moves in here, look, in that way. And then that part in here, look, this part, what is in here, this switch, it also moves and it open and close. And now I take it away. This, this is like valve. And this valve opens and close this coolant movement inside through that that hose. This is like first uh, this valve control. It opens and closes that. In some cars there is only that kind of system. What makes that that it, by this this meaning we can control our car's temperature. But in this high quality Toyota cars there is two switches and this is really interesting. First, when, when I now take this core heater away, what position is in here? This is, by the way, then, then very hot when this is uh, this boiling coolant comes. It is not boiling, it is hot coolant comes in here and air goes through that area. And this is the heater what heat ups our car's cabin, this air. And let's go to look at how this works. This heater area is in here, and then when we look in the inner area, we can see that there is this, this area where air goes in here, and there is in Toyota way, when we are planning to switch our heater, there is again second cable what moves this air movement, and let's look in their inner area and we can see that when I move there's this flap I take a little bit more light and now when I control we can see that there is this flap what is opening and closing and then when this flap is totally open this air goes in here inner and it is like heated and then air moves through that tunnel in in our this like in window or in this food area. Okay, and now air goes through in that, but then when I move this my switch in another position, then this heater area is like close and air goes directly, directly through in that area in here in this my feet and window area. And there is then no any heating process. And this is really innovative system, that, that device. Okay, and then what, what else I can tell this system? This is actually, I think that most things that how this heater works and in like this Toyota's component, there is also this drying out bolt, if there is, uh, sorry, this water drying out hose if there is any water inside in this our heater unit, but this is really high quality, high quality heater unit, and we can even open these screws if we need. But but this this can heat and cool down, and there is air air condition option also in that system. Okay, that kind of information, and thank you for watching that video.